What is going on everyone? It is Minata here and we are back with some more Dokkan battle. So we do have the new JP data download here and it seems like we got a couple of extra things along with the Debarduck and then the Intatora. So we have the confirmation of when he's going to drop. As expected, the Sparduck is actually going to drop on the 31st. That makes sense because they don't drop banners over the weekend, but they did reveal the units inf information and everything like that. So at the 31st, 1 a.m. Pacific time, 4 a.m. Eastern time, we will be getting the banner. So just basically Monday, it should be the same time as the rest of the time zones, right? So keep that in mind. That's when the banner is going to drop on the 31st here. Now, again, let's just talk about the Bardock real quick. I have, again, I discussed this in an earlier video. I have been seeing a lot of people tell you this Bardock's bad. I don't want to clear up. Me personally, I believe that the... The Bardock is actually still really good, right? I think that, how do I explain it? He is more so above average is what I'd say, right? He's not like anything you would go out of your way and be like, oh my God, this dude is incredibly amazing, right? Especially with their most recent Dokkan Festival exclusive units we have been getting. However, this guy is still definitely more than enough to clear all the difficult content in the game. I just, at the very least, I want to use him in game first before I give my final thoughts. But I think people have been underrating him just a little bit now i think the major problem i have with this guy is that he does lose a scouter after five turns i think that there's no reason for it to be five turns i think it should just be permanent we have units that came out again tego Gita came out in 2021 over a year like earlier and he has the same ability with the key spirit changing and the scouter for five turns I don't see why we still have to do that. I, knew, I know how strong the scouter ability is. It's quite powerful. What I would have liked is instead of making it where the scouter is five turns like that. And, you know, even if he's off rotation, maybe have to scouter only when he's on rotation, but last permanently. That could potentially be better, but we'll see. I think it'll be useful for like some certain cell, certain stages like in cell max, right? You know, I mean, well, it's specify certain teams against cell max certain stages of the wicked bloodline red zone right he could be quite interesting well i'll have to wait and see um but i think the sparta could be really good he has a strong leader skill he does once he's built up he could put up some pretty nice numbers overall nothing like again incredible but just pretty nice number he's just he's just a guy right <laughs> i feel like that's a good way to say it he's just a guy doing his thing and his animations i know a lot of people complain about them but i think his animations are fine right so that's pretty cool Next, we have the Torah. I think the Torah is also very, very strong. We know that actually, um, in the data download, well, in the, not the data download, in the Twitter reveal, uh, it seems that he actually does also have a chance to evade. So if there's a full team bar to category rotation, he gets 10% crit, 10, th no, 30% crit, 30% evasion, and then 30% damage reduction. That plus the support, it's going to be pretty good, I think, overall. And he also does give you know this extra super class ally buff in slot one which is okay i guess if this was like attack and defense i think then he'd be really really good that that would be huge but i don't know i want to see how this tour is i think he'll be solid but we we'll, i won't know until i see actual gameplay of him no gameplay has been actually brought out for this guy as of yet at the time of this recording i will have a better idea i guess when the gameplay comes out and when the actual unit will be released on monday so it'll be quite some time um I just have uh, some of this stuff pulled up. So we, I, I guess I'll look here. So we have the missions, right? And we can tell that the celebration will also start. I guess I, I, the celebration could start tomorrow or it might. We don't know when the actual this celebration is going to start, I think. Because all these missions start when Bardock drops, right? So we have these extra missions here. And it's just... I want you to increase the super attack level to 10 for a lot of these characters now okay interesting so you're just it's just going to be more rewards than we had previously which is pretty cool so that's again that's nice it's more rewards right these are just extra rewards on top of the missions we already have in game so complete those missions and then you're able to get these extra rewards as well so they kind of like double the rewards that's pretty cool this is interesting it's just like if you look SA20, the some of the super strike units, you get three stones for each. So this is for the Mighty Mask, this is for Android 16, this is for the Kid Vegeta, and then this is for the trunks, right? The super strike trunks. So 
that's an extra free 12 stones and uh, i think that's pretty cool overall now we have just the celebration missions okay yeah so we know okay never mind we know the celebration will start on the 30th because these are when the missions for the celebration start so the 30th at 7 a.m pacific time is when we'll get the celebration info that's when we'll know like what EZA we're going to get and everything like that. Then the 31st at 1 a.m. Pacific time, we will get the actual drop in game. Okay, that, that's good to know. So the celebration ends on the 22nd from what I'm seeing here. Okay, so that should be again. That's around when hero starts. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't there could be a part two LR because this is what four weeks one two three it's a three week time frame and we haven't had an lr since lr metal cooler so uh, maybe maybe we'll get an lr i don't think so i think that we'll just have a dead period right here well we'll have to see right maybe they drop some free to play unit or something um just the basic stuff here yeah this is just the basic stuff okay we have new missions for the vegeta event the goku event and then the GT Goku event. It's just beating up the low class warriors team, right? If we take a look here, uh, it's the same for all of them, right? Uh, I guess just to show you guys. Organize six characters belonging to low class warriors and then beat the event. So very, very easy, very simple to get done. The low class warriors is not gonna be a hard mission to get done whatsoever, especially if you have this new Bardock. You can run him as a friend and then the free to play team Bardocks and I think you could probably, no, you could definitely beat every single one of the events. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty nice, honestly. So, if we take a look here, we have the new Super Battle Road mission. This also starts... Actually, this starts tonight. Yeah, okay, we, the Super Battle Road mission starts tonight. Okay, that's interesting. That's cool, honestly. So, this is going to be... What Super Battle Road is this? I think we had, we had the announcement in the news a few days ago. Let me take a look here. This is... Is this, let me see, Wait, what is this? Giant Ape Power, okay. So this is a Giant Ape Power category Super Battle Road. Not bad, I think that's pretty cool. So that shouldn't be too difficult to get done. I mean, LR Super Saiyan 4 is probably just absolutely obliterate that, right? So no, she's there. We actually have this Bardock um, event returning, right? Is there, I don't know if there's a way I could bring up that Bardock event. I guess I could do it by doing this, right? Um, let's see. Uh, well, great. Hold up. Let me see if I can bring it up here. Dokkan. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Well, I brought up the Dokkan info version. It's just it. I want to bring up the wiki version. Well, apparently it was, it was only available during the Worldwide Celebration 2021, but... It's gonna be re-available again, so that's cool. I mean, there's a good, there's a good amount of rewards in here, so it's just gonna be nice to have these extra rewards and stuff that you can get here. Just a lot of extra stones. How many stones did we get? Is there like a? There's not a countdown here, but it looks like it's the same event missions, right? Okay, so it's just a good amount of stones you can get from clearing this event. I'll definitely will take that for sure. We have this right here. Oh, we can get the last copy of our Bardock. Look, look at that. No, he has to be easy Aang. There's no way he's not gonna easy A. There's no way. This is the, this is the last copy you can get of him. He has to, he has to easy A the celebration. They're giving us a copy of him. The this is the link skills. We we don't know when that's gonna come up, but I just want to at least show that. But that is pretty much it, I think. I don't know if there's anything extra here. If I let me refresh her attorney, if there's anything extra here. There's the Bardock movie. I mean, dude, this Bardock intro animation is so sick. It's actually just really, really good, right? I, I'm very, very excited about this for sure, right? And I mean, yeah, I guess I really like on my pro. Oh, with those HDRs, right? Follow the boy legacy, dude. The boy legacy is a goat, but. Yeah, <laughs> it's my bad. Uh, I guess I'm looking at my timeline now. I was like, oopsie. Not a lot of them, but there's these missions that... I don't... I saw someone saying... Someone didn't like these, huh? Okay. I don't even know. Whatever. 
Um, let me know what you guys think. I just, I, at this point, I'm just looking through Twitter. My bad. Thank y'all for watching till the end. Let me know what you think of Bardock. Drops on Monday. Very excited. I will be streaming summons. So I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.